Last time. After Reese repaired the android and turned his head right side up, Jonathan started to regain his memory. He was able to recall that Seth had stolen important data from him, so he headed off to Zeta Point on a mission to get it back. Meanwhile, Seth had also been scheming to take over the island from Dr. Z and to force the dinosaurs into an extreme evolution. But we won't let that happen. The D-Team is here to save the dinosaurs and maybe the world. What you wanna be, yeah Make your move, come on and make your move, yeah. Dinosaur King is your destiny, yeah Make your move, come on and make your move Control the cards right in your hands Jurassic Giants at your command d, -D, -D, -D team Watch out, here we go Prehistoric dinosaurs aren't extinct anymore See them fight, hear a roar Watch out cause they're right next door The past is in the present I've been twisted upside down These fossils are colossal Only one can wear the crown Dinosaur King is what you wanna be, yeah Make your move, come on and make your move Dinosaur King is your destiny, yeah Make your move, come on and make your move Tricks of the Traitor Ingrid betrays me and then he has the nerve to challenge me? There's no way he'll get away with this! But he kinda already has, Grandpa, and you never knew anything about it. <laughs> I suppose that's true. I'm just too trusting. And thank you so much for pointing that out to me, Rod! Dr. Dr. Z! Huh? What's he up to now? Well, he's in the lab playing around with that petrified Tyrannosaurus fossil he seems to love so much. And he was having so much fun in there, I don't think he even noticed us spying on him. If you ask me, the time is right for an attack. <laughs> well, what do you think, Grandpa? Let's go! He's about to find out what happens to someone who betrays Dr. Z! <laughs> That's it. Come to life. We'll go down in history together. The history of dinosaur evolution! Huh? You rotten traitor! Zeta Point is my island and I won't stand for what you've done one minute longer! You're going down! You're going, going down! down. <laughs> <laughs> We landed in the garbage chute! Which fool said something about going down? Well, let me think. With all due respect, I think it was someone with the last name of Z. Are you suggesting it was me? It, it must, must have, have been, been Rod. Rod. Once again, all communication with Zeta Point is being blocked. Hmm, which makes tracking down a moving target that much more difficult. I hope Grandpa and the others are okay. You don't have to worry about that, Laura. They've got Rod with them, so they should be just fine. Yeah, you're probably right. Protecting me? From what? Huh? What are you saying, Jonathan? Why would you be protecting me when you don't even know who I am? You okay, Rex? Stop being so mysterious and tell us who you are! Now that I have my head on straight, it's becoming more clear. I remember I was a butler working for your father. Huh? Huh? <gasps> That's right, and as his butler, I was sent here under his strict orders to watch over you and protect you, Master Rex. Huh? Watch over me? Can you try to remember more? I have come from a time more than a hundred years from now. The fact is that I have been sent here from the future. Huh? And Miss Laura has come from the future as well. No, really? But how is that possible? We came in a time machine. What? Is this some kind of joke? Zeta Point itself is really a time machine. That island we were on? I can't believe it. From the future? But how can that be? Ah! I don't get how any of this could be! It's just not possible! Master Rex, your father is the preeminent expert on dinosaur research. His name is Dr. Ancient. He works with your mother, who is his co-researcher, Dr. Cretacea. You're telling me they were both paleontologists? That's right. It's all coming back to me now, so allow me to start from the beginning. And where this story begins is just before you were born, Master Rex. The year was 2126, 
Dr. Ancient and his team were working at an archaeological dig from the Cretaceous period when they discovered something in the soil formation. Ah, oh, it's some sort of lithograph. It turned out to be a discovery beyond their wildest imagining. Oh, what is this? Please, please help us. Help us. Please help us. Please, please help us. Help us. Please. I bet it's the same voices we heard. I don't believe it. You mean this? Exactly, but that is just a small part of the stone that Dr. Ancient discovered. <gasps> the original stone consisted of parts that represent six different elements, and it had a centerpiece that would bind them all together. So there were seven pieces altogether? Which means there are more out there! Yes. So what's the purpose of the stone? Please help, help us. Help us. Please, Please help, help us. We have suffered hardships for a very long time before finally settling on this earth and living in peace. And now we are afraid once again. Something terrible is going to happen. Unless we do something about it, the sky, the ocean, the land, and all life on this earth will perish. Please help us. You have to help us. Please? Could they be dinosaurs? I think so. It's possible we're hearing what they were feeling as they approached extinction. There must be something we can do for them. You're right. They both agreed to do whatever was possible to help the dinosaurs and immediately took action. The power within that stone was beyond anything these two scientists could have anticipated. After many tests, they discovered they could use that power to create a time machine and then travel back and forth through time. What? They realized if they could travel to the age of the dinosaurs, then they might be able to rescue them. They were excited by this idea and began to work building it. It was one year later, on Christmas Day, that the time machine was ready to embark on its maiden journey. I packed my bags and prepared for the trip. Involved in the project was their gifted assistant, Seth, along with another paleontologist, Dr. Z, his three assistants, Helga, their maid, and Dr. Z's two young grandchildren who didn't want to be left out of such a spectacular voyage. Filled with anticipation, we boarded the time machine, strapped ourselves in, and hoped for the best. And that is how we headed toward the age of the dinosaurs. Wait a minute, hold on. What? What about Rex? Oh, yeah. She didn't know it at the time, but Dr. Cretacea, your mother was carrying you inside of her, Master Rex. You were not born yet. I can't believe it. So you made it to the dinosaur age? Yes, we reached there safely. Oh. stayed there while the scientists continued further research. Somehow, they succeeded in turning real live dinosaurs into cars. We've done it, Cretacea. We sure have. Let's celebrate. With this device, they hope to transport the dinosaurs home in order to save their species from extinction. So they turned dinosaurs from various ages into cars. But a problem arose. Finally! My move card is now complete! Oh, let me be the first to congratulate you. Now the dinosaurs will be even more powerful. You're brilliant! <laughs> An ancient's a fool! What is going on here? I want it stopped immediately! <laughs> It's nothing, really. Just an innocent little uh, scrimmage. Could I make you some tea, Doctor? Or no, perhaps a uh, crumpet? Let me go! <laughs> Just wait until you see what I'm really planning. I'll turn all dinosaurs into cards, and then I will create my own dinosaur kingdom! And I will become Dinosaur King! <laughs> Doctor Z's diabolical plan severely delayed our work. 
Dr. Ancient and Dr. Z were at odds the whole time. The card conversion was supposed to take just two months, but even after six months in, we were only 10% complete. Thanks to Dr. Z's defiance, the delays brought upon us another unexpected issue. What? <sighs> Cretacea, what's wrong? It's the baby, sweetheart. I'm afraid it's going to come soon. How soon? Ah. That's right, Rex. It was you, and apparently you wanted to come out and join us. Whoa! Did you just feel that big kick? He's gonna be a football player. Dr. Ancient and Cretacea were planning on returning to the future for the baby's birth and resume the project back home. But when they let the team know... We are not going to return! We're not? No. This spells trouble for us. Ancient wants to return to the future just so he can kick me off of the team. Apparently, we're not the only ones who find him annoying and distasteful. Excuse me! What was that? <laughs> I got it! We can't get back if the time machine is broken. <sighs> They'll know that you were responsible that way. Ah, uh, so? Alert. System failure. Alert. Oh. System failure. Control data has been deleted. Zip! Unbelievable! So it was Seth and Dr. Z who destroyed their own time machine? Yes, Zoe, that is correct, and because of that, we were all trapped in the Cretaceous period, which is where Master Rex was born. <sighs> you look pretty good for being over 65 million years old. <sighs> Tell me more. Your mom and dad were very proud of you. They knew you would grow up and love dinosaurs, which is why they hung that ornament around your neck. So that's where it came from. I still can't believe that you're the same person as Baby Rex. It was then that the ancients secretly summoned me. What? At this point, they knew they were in danger, and they needed me to protect Master Rex at all costs. They requested I return with him to their homeworld, in case of an emergency. And their concern became a frightening reality. I wish they would stop working so hard on those repairs. Once that time machine is fixed, my plans are ruined. There's nothing to worry about, Doctor. I have a plan. Yeah? Oh, which turned out to be a dreadful plan. When the repairs were finally completed, we were taking the time machine through its final warp test. to do in the age of the dinosaurs. So if you want to go back, you can do so on your own! Oh, what have you done? Oh no! Rex is still on the ship! <laughs> oh, no. Get your hands off of him! Hold on to him, Seth! <laughs> Master Rex! Oh, no, Rex! Rex, this is all thanks to the Alpha Gang. It's terrible! So, what happened to my mom and dad? I'm sorry. I don't know. My memory bank doesn't hold any more information except for what I just told you. What? They're still alive. I know they are, Rex, so don't worry. We're gonna help you find them. Max and I are here for you, so don't ever forget that. I promise you, I never knew that my grandpa and Seth did that. When we woke up, we were in this time period and on that island, and they never told us where your mom and dad went. This is all very interesting. You know, Rex was found in New York City about 12 years ago by Dr. Owen. You know, I just don't understand it. Yes, we certainly know that Dr. Z is a piece of work, but why was Seth involved in the plan? I know why. It's because he was trying to re-engineer all of those dinosaurs. I think he wanted to create a new species. Possibly. But the truth is, I have no idea what he was thinking, and I doubt that any of us did. Seth was always incredibly silent and kept his distance from us and the Ancients. Yeah, and Dr. Ancient used to get mad about that. 
He used to scold Seth all the time for just going off and doing things on his own. Really? I remember one time when they were arguing. Oh. How dare you try and manipulate dinosaur DNA behind my back? I did not approve this! It's immoral! Hmm. We're talking about the history of evolution! There should never be human intervention! <laughs> I remember the coldness in his eyes. I should have known right then that he wasn't a nice man. It's okay, Laura. <laughs> Stop! Way to go, Tank! I should have thought of this earlier. Better late than never. <laughs> Yay! Let me know when you're done patting yourselves on the back! Okay, okay we're, we're done! done. <laughs> Hey, Seth! Now you're gonna pay even more for what you've done to me! Alright, Tank, here we go again! Alpha Slash! Sidechainia, shake him up! Ah! Destroy everything in your way, Soro Faganax! Rod, take out your card, too! Oh, okay. Go, Ampelosaurus! Aqua Vortex! We did it! <laughs> Fire Scorcher! As you can see, Doctor, I will allow no one to stand in my way. That's what you think! <sighs> Hear me, I said get in! <laughs> Come on, Elga! Just save yourselves! We'll never forget you, Helga! Get this thing go any faster! I'm hungry! <laughs> You have disturbed my household for the last time, and now you will get what you deserve! Zeta Point just showed up on the radar. That's odd. And there's a flying object approaching. <gasps> excitement for one day. I could use a shower and a comfortable bed. Rod! Everyone okay? Grandpa! What do you think you're doing? Get back! What? I know, Grandpa. I don't remember asking for any help from you three brats! I don't need your help and I don't want it! All I want is to be left alone to create my dinosaur kingdom and become dinosaur king! So you're still going on about that? Yes! Let's go, Tank! Huh? Spiny! Uh -oh. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let go of me, Terry! I go for Tank and Spiny! No way, Grandpa, you can't use them! Tank and Spiny are both way too exhausted! I don't care how tired they are! They'll do as I say! Grandpa, I heard about what you did! Huh? The horrible things you and Seth did to Rex's mom and dad! What?! We'd like to hear what you have to say for yourself! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, I, uh, well, um... Yeah. <laughs> What do you think oh. you're doing? Ah! A dinosaur has appeared! Uh, huh? Alright, so where is it? Oh. <laughs> I've done it! I've created my Black T-Rex! 
<laughs> There's still one more dinosaur card out there. And even though we've already collected 36 of them, we're gonna get that last card from Seth. You can count on it. <laughs> 